some were saying doom and despair with the onslaught of the computer libraries were going to go away. They were wrong, weren't they? Absolutely, positively wrong. <laughs> so what's with the change? Okay, so I mean, as you all know, we just brought up Slover. It's 18 months into operation, doing wonderfully. Uh, so proud of making it a tourist destination for Norfolk. So a building, a building that has just grown. Mm -hmm. And now we have two more future projects to look ahead. We are bringing on an anchor branch library, just like Pretlow. Uh, this is going to be our south anchor, uh, Broad Creek Library. And we are also, we also have in Horizon, south side library. Okay. Which is going to be a neighborhood branch. You just, because you just made a connection with me that, that the Slover is a tourist attraction. Did you ever think when you were going through library school you'd be a tourist attraction? Not back in library school, but as we evolve every mm -hmm. day, Truly, libraries have become destination for families, for people of all ages, walks of life, coming into the library. So they're really, it, it's really become a civic gathering place, a civic meeting place. And we kind of got lucky over the years in Norfolk because libraries were kind of developed in a neighborhood basis, Correct. with the main library being downtown. Mm -hmm. And in those days, it was Kern. Right. But the focus really has been building in the neighborhood, right? Absolutely. Um, Speaking of which, we actually are going to undergo uh, with one of our branches, Horace C. Downing, a renovation, a really beautiful renovation. We did one back two years ago in 2013, or three, um, with Blyden Branch. So we have our focus on neighborhoods and developing them, uh, revitalizing them, and really being more community oriented. Okay, now are there certain standards that you have in every library? When you say standards, like I'm... A, a program or yes, an expectation. Yes, so we try to, of course, neighborhoods and branches, people are unique to who mm -hmm. walk in. So we have that uniqueness, but we also have consistency with our various programs, be they early literacy, after school programs, adult programming, summer reading program, we try to bring consistency to our system, okay. library system. So, okay, you walk in and you look for Gone with the wind in the large point library. Can I get it? Sure you can. <laughs> the book form? The book form, the DVD, the audio, the ebook format, and you'll hear more. As we go through the as show. As we go through so the show. So because you've got different, the different initiatives really have different branches that kind of push those, right? Or that's that's correct. Organized. That's correct. How is the library system organized? You were the, you were the big cheese. You're the head librarian. Is that you're the head librarian then? The you way can call it? me anything. I'm the library lady. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a librarian. I'm a true, true librarian by heart. And I think I'm just so passionate about what I do, how I lead the system, and where we are going with it. I'm in the best of the times right now. So cause it, how long have you been with the Norfolk Library System? Then? I, I have been with the city working for Norfolk Public Library for 20 years now. Now, always as the director? Not what really. Did you as do? A, what I did really you do? started out as a little cheese okay. in a little pocket. Uh, I started out with Baron of Black Library, uh, one of the branch libraries as a library associate. I was in library school back then and really grew in the system, loved every opportunity I got. I was a children's librarian, I was a reference librarian, uh, a branch manager, and uh, assistant director, and now the director. But you started off with the cart? Putting mm. books on the shelf? Did you do that? Well, I did, yeah. I was one person running Bare Enough Flag at the time. So you had to do it all? And did it all. Shelving, um, checking out books, uh, you know, collection development, buying books, uh, recommending books for selection, and yes. Wow. Okay, well this comes, okay, putting books on the shelf. How are they put on the shelf then? Do it decimal. This, Okay. Dewey Ex Decimal System. Explain it to the viewer. Oh boy. Come on. <laughs> it's I been a while. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll do it. Because I'm going to tell the viewer, you got people out here who are getting ready to come on the show. So later on, they might say, yeah, she didn't quite get that. Okay, explain the Dewey Decimal System. Okay, all right. And um, so Dewey Decimal is basically very simple. It's alphanumeric. Okay. So biographies are alphabetical. Um, by the by the subject by the by by the author, oh, the author. by the by, yes by the uh, subject matter okay and then um, you know uh, we have our fiction with the author okay. author's last name and nonfiction with the numeric so it goes from zero zeros to nine hundreds so it's easy but now, I got this <laughs> okay but now that you've branched off beyond books yes 
DVDs and all that, same system? Sure. Uh, DVDs are uh, exactly the same system. It's all Dewey Decimal. It's a different format. Um, it's not book, it's DVD. Ebooks are in the uh, almost in the same format. So, um, so it's so it's a very organized it's, world. It's a very organized world. Libraries and then are, you get to the kids section. That's correct. Did you expect to ever see a library with toddlers? You know, we saw we had our traditional story times. But again, as we have evolved into being who we are, true family destination spaces and places to go to, um, that's where we have really come to be. Um, we are the first family place library in Virginia, in the entire state of Virginia. And so we live by that philosophy. Again, cool. the philosophy is to build spaces and environments that are, more, that are con conducive to families. Learn equals play for family place. And so we believe that every child, whether it's a baby or a toddler or a school child, they all learn by playing and interacting with toys and what have you. So. Wow, okay, computers? We are full of it. 50 public computers in Pretlow. We have nearly about 30 computers in all our branches. Slover has about 150 public access so, computers. So talk about connecting with your community. Technology. Okay, I have one more question for you. Back in the day, if I had come in the library and used my outside voice like I always do, mm -hmm. what would you have done to me? Shh. Okay, so do you feel compelled to do that now? Absolutely not. Really? Absolutely not. You, you got to bite we your certainly, shh. We certainly, you know, now of course you're violating our code of conduct, that's a different story, <laughs> but you can be loud, you can interact with your child, you can bring kids and you know really have we we want you to come in we want you to be normal people we want you to enjoy the space we have created and we want to really uh, for for our viewers to enjoy uh, resources and our spaces because that's what the destination being is all about thank you and i i am very excited about our whole library system and the leadership you provided has oh, just been you. awesome Thank you, Bob. But I understand I've got to have our next guest on to find out if um, I can get gone with a win on the bookmobile. That's right. Okay. Stay tuned.